Good evening, everybody. It's Mastrap here, and welcome, welcome to more Pokemon Crystal the Nuzlocke run. We're finally back again with more Nuzlocke. Eradicate looks like he's. <laughs> Uh, that's probably the case, to be fair, Matios. Yeah, I mean, I, I just placed the Pokemon in the pre-stream bit. Just wherever, really. Like, I think I had in Pokemon Blue, Nuzlocke. I think I had Volpix Burning Magikarp, I think, was one of them. But anyway. It's been nearly three weeks, Mastrath. Where the bloody hell have you been? Well. Internet issues. Yet again. So, we sorted out the problem. <laughs> about three weeks ago, uh, which is causing it to cut out, and then randomly, like, it's actually good that I did that stream when I did the last one, uh, simply because the day after, it was incredibly slow, and I have fiber broadband, and, yeah, fiber broadband, and I was getting, what was it, download speeds of about five, and upload speeds of about one megabytes per second. So I'm there thinking, I don't think streaming would be a good idea at the moment, simply because, well, it would probably look like you're back in 2006 watching a YouTube video on 144p. So, anyway, bloke from Stupid Company came out, um, and apparently, essentially, all the connection bits around you know, like, like they've done for ages, pretty much. They've sort of had, like, the phone in, phone line connections and everything like that. Uh, were so ancient. They were about 20 years old. And also, they were broken. Um, and just painted over by the gits who painted the house from the council. And they just shoved it back in again. So, yeah. To the council. Screw you. You're ruining my chance of becoming an affiliate, you bastards. Anyway, so that's pretty much what's happened. It's now all been sorted, hence the title of this video. 35 over 5. No more breaks. Let's carry on. So, Gina wants to talk to us. It's Gina. Got time to chat. Are your Pokemon still tough? Well, Slim Shady's dead, but apart from that. I train every day with Bulbasaur, but, you know... I still haven't caught a Hoot Hoot. <laughs> Jeez, I've caught one. It's getting past frustrating. Bye, let's chat again. Uh, cheers, Gina. You're spending three weeks trying to talk to me. Anyway, so here is where we were at last time. Yeah, it's absolutely terrible. Uh, music Lover 9562. Absolutely awful, but it's all been sorted now, so hopefully, fingers crossed, no more issues, and I can start sort of streaming regularly again you know i'm looking for sort of like maybe two videos a week uh for streaming so why not Just finished work today and i thought you know what i feel like doing some uh i, I feel like doing some pokemon in why not so yes last stream we lost slim shady to my own incompetence i completely forgot that gyarados even if it's red has bite and yeah my ghastly died but we do have a replacement in schnoggin the Smoochum, um, who, again, mess up on my part, for Evolved with Friendship. Smoochum doesn't evolve with Friendship, it evolves via leveling. Uh, but then we have the rest of the team still doing well. Fodder's there, good old Fodder from the Fod Squad. Uh, we have Sandy Man, the Sand Slash there. We also have Marvina, the Crobat. Uh, we also have Africa Doll, the Croconaw. And last but not least, Beast the Gyarados. Beast obviously in there for reasons. I still love the fact that I caught Gyarados. Well, I caught a, a Magikarp, like, level, what was it, level 19 or 18? I thought, that'll do. And I believe this is the area where he's gonna be like, Dragonite, Hyper Beam, bleh, and you attacked a human! Pokemon Colosseum has told us that Shadow Pokemon attack humans. Does Lance have a Shadow Dragonite? Interesting thought. Someone do a game theory on that. What took you, Master? Oi! I've already just said what it was, Lance. Shut up. Just as I thought, that strange radio signal is coming from here. 
Okay, get out of his way. Get out of, his, get out of the, the caped crusader's way. Stairs are right here. Master, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. How did he know? How did he know it was there? Is what I want to know. Alright, now we're all moving in. By the way, we do have... Um, people that didn't watch the last stream, uh, we do have the experience share, obviously, from beating Red Gyarados, getting the red skill, trading in with Mr. Pokemon for the experience share. So that's pretty much how we've been leveling up, uh, leveling up Schnoggin at the moment. So there we go. But obviously, having Jinx is pretty good. Uh, especially when Claire's up after Price, and then obviously Lance is 3D Gyarados. We're probably going to need an Ice type for that. Um, start with Toadal as well. It, to be fair, this there's not many generations where I like all three starters. Like, really like all three starters. Um, this is one of them that I do. I mean, my main go is Cyndaquil. Um, when I was younger, it was Totodile. Um, and Chikorita, you just need to watch Team Four Stars, um, Soul Silver, Nuzlocke. And you will fall in love with Chikorita as well. Hey, intruder alert! I'll bugger you. I'm just hoping that your level is rubbish. Because if I've come in too early... Oh, God. You have Drowsy. Okay. 17. All right. No, we are very well leveled for this. Fair enough. <coughs> Sadly, we don't have... Bite on Beast. That'd be very useful. But uh, I believe you might have missed out on that. Might have missed out on the lovely Bite there. Okay, you're disabling a move. You're disabling Surf. Fine, I'll attack you with this Dragon Rage! Rage of the Dragon! Rage of the Dragon for you, Drowsy! Experience there for Beast and for Schnoggin as well. Zubat! Um, do you know what, Schnoggin? Let's give you a go. I mean, really. Both of, both of Schnoggin's types beat Zubat, so surely you shouldn't lose this. You shouldn't lose this. You're not going to lose this. Thank you. Critical hit from Schnoggin in her debut. Schnoggin kicking ass, getting double experience. Or just normal experience for the first time since she came out of an egg. And oh, you're lucky that it was such an easy battle last time round, or I'd be quite annoyed. He's like, ah, you don't give me time to rest and recuperate. No, you don't. No, you don't indeed. What have you got then? Three. You have Zubat. I mean, to be fair, Schnoggin's probably going to gonna do pretty well here. I might consider uh, putting Schnoggin up front because, well, uh, also it's 12.42 p.m. for me. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Wait, p.m. So that'd be... Oh, so that'd be just after, just after midday, I'm guessing then. If I've, if, if I've got mine right, then, I think. Uh, oh, Gur it's Gurmer. We've got a Gurmer here. All right. We've got a Gurmer here. I can't wait to get some Epicons. Some Epicons. Right. Grimer. Schnoggin. Schnoggin, confuse the sludge. Confuse the sludge to death. Please. Thank you. Luckily, at least, Smoochum's stats aren't terrible. Unlike a lot of, um, a lot of baby Pokemon, at least. Ah, Rattata. I am going to switch on this one, actually. I'm going to switch for Beast. Um, yeah. Luckily, I think it's, if I remember correctly, it's Magby, Elekid, and Smoochum stats are actually pretty decent. But Cleffers, Pichus, um, Jigglypuffs, you know, they're all bad. But essentially, if, for the baby Pokemon, if there was uh, an evolution, but it was only one, so for example, Jinx, Magmar, Electabuzz, at least at this stage, they had really good stats. But if they didn't, like Jigglypuff has Wigglytuff, for example, then it's awful. Then their stats are crap, so there you go. Alright, Shnoggin, I'm pretty confident to put you up front, actually, because... Apart from Rattatas, I think we're probably going to be going against mostly poison types here. So we might as well 
Try and just kick ass while we're at it. Hello, mates. Hey, true alert! Y yes, I'm very much aware. Very much aware. He has Entei. <laughs> Randomly Entei and I die. No. Right, Drowsy. Hmm. Is there anything that Drowsy could do that could hurt me? I mean, I guess so, so I'm gonna go for a Dizzy Punch. I'm gonna get you confused, mate. Decent damage. Okay, you're gonna go for the Disable. Let's go for Powder Snow, then. <coughs> Not sure if that's gonna do more damage. Nope. Ooh, the pound! Got the pound in! Ugh, that's not great damage, to be fair. Not good for Schnoggin, at least. That's nine damage on Schnoggin. I kind of want to get Schnoggin up to 27. What you got next? That's better. Better give me more Zubats. Feed Schnoggin Zubats. I'm disabled no more. Well, I wasn't going to dizzy punch a Zubat, was I? Yeah, I understand about the uh, the American time zone, but um, the Amer American time zone split into like multiple separate time zones. While UK, it's just one because it's so because the, the place is so small. I wonder what that'd be actually for specific uh, countries that are just you know they're sort of bigger vertically than horizontally. So like Chile, not Chile. Is it Chile? I think so. Yeah, Chile. Um, you know, have that. I mean, obviously they just have one. Uh, oh, God damn it! Another battle. Go away. I, I'm pretty certain I fought you guys before. Just saying. Okay, Zubat again. More Zubats. Yes. Bring on your Zubats. Snogging. Yeah, Russia's time zones are nuts. <laughs> Then again, to be fair, that country is like the width of probably about a third of the world. So, you know, that's Russia for you. That's all you say. <laughs> that's Russia. Uh, ooh, Rattata. Um, I'm going to bring an Africa doll here. See how Africa doll's going to do. Old Toto. Well, name doesn't work anymore, but we're keeping it. Go on, Africa doll. Punch face. Or just surf it. Surf on face. Uh, it's about five hours ahead. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's five hours ahead, yeah. Because uh, it is currently uh, quarter six in the evening for me. Uh, finished work at five, and I just thought, eh, let's, let's, let's do a stream. Why not? Let's do a stream. Since I haven't done one for a while. Jeez, that, that graphic for Grimer did not look good for a minute there. Split second there, and I'm there going, eh. That's not great, but oh well. Get this monstrosity out of my face, Schnoggin! Good job, Schnoggin! You certainly used your Schnoggin there, didn't you? Aha! Uh -huh. Obviously, people want to know why I've got a, a smoochum called Schnoggin. <coughs> Watch my Pokemon um, Stadium playthrough. I would usually not recommend that one, because... Not the greatest one I've ever done. I just think maybe my Pokemon Gold one's the best one I've done. I quite like that. Right, more battles. What? Wait, hang on. Did anyone see that? Did I see two Team Rockets merge into a Team Rocket? No! He's Ultimate Team Rocket! He has evolved beyond the normal Rockets. No, he hasn't. I fought you twice already. I've already fought you twice! You're the one who punched Snoggin! Is your ear? Have another dizzy punch. Ah. To be fair, this was before. Um. This was before Gen 3, when I believe Drowsy would have got old, uh, own tempo. It doesn't seem to. Uh, it doesn't. Seem to be working on Drowsy, regardless, so like it matters. Looks like he leaked. Yeah, it's not even their final form. Here we go. We're getting the um, we get we're getting the Dragon Force ones, uh, Dragon Force, Dragon Ball ones in now. Dragon Force is a English uh, power metal band. So there you go. Quite a big fan of them in the uh, in, in, in my teens. 
Yes, I did own Guitar Hero 3, that's probably the reason. Anyway. Oh. Here we go. First of the evening, folks. First of the evening. The controller disconnects it. First of the evening. Probably not the last, either. Right. One more and Schnoggin's up to the same level as everyone else, which is quite good. Right, let's see if it happens again. Nope, he comes from the other side. Yeah. You're just a singular rocket guy. I just beat double rocket man. What do you think you've got? I just beat double rocket man. You're nothing in comparison to double rocket man. Okay, Schnoggin. Confuse this bat. Confuse them. There you go, lovely. Level 27 for Schnoggin. I gotta remember again, because it's <laughs> it's been a while. Head's a bit fuzzy. But when does uh when does Smoochum evolve into Jinx? Through the fire and flames is probably fitting for a Nuzlocke, yeah. To be fair, I think actually, um a lot of Dragon Force song titles are probably good names for Nuzlocke uh, titles as well. Um what have we got? Uh, Black Fire is one of them. And then there was Inside the Winter Storm. Uh, Heroes of Our Time. So, really, you could probably take any of their song titles and you could just have, like, a pretty damn good title name for an episode. I don't think I've actually used any of them, though, so, yeah. Are you able to post clips in the chat? Um, yeah, yeah, go ahead. If Nightbot does anything about it, I'll uh, I'll tell Nightbot to go away. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to clips, that's all good. Um, I think I think people have done clips before, mostly when I was doing Swords and Sandals three, which is probably my in the space of maybe about two to three streams. That is the luckiest set of streams I think I've ever had. Uh, but yeah, if, if, if there's any issue when it comes to that, I'll, I'll tell Nightbot to stop it. And I, I don't think I'll do the same thing I did last time, which is ban Nightbot. Yep, I banned my own Nightbot because it was annoying me. And others, to be fair. Feel lucky, punk. Go ahead, take another step. I physically can't, I'm afraid. I physically can't take another step. I, I can't do it. Sorry, buddy. 30. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, well, three more to go. That's all good. Uh, we also require fodder to evolve, but that's that's going to take ages. Um, Africa Dial obviously needs to evolve as well. Um, yeah, and then Schnoggin. So that's all good. Goodbye, Ratata. A little bit of experience there. A little bit of experience there. Next up is another Ratata. But yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, I'm hoping to get Jinx to 30. I'm hoping to get Jinx to 30 before... Oh, sorry. Smoochum, Schnoggin to 30 before Claire is what I'm hoping for. Also, I desperately need a fire type in my team. <laughs> like, really? I need a fire type in my team. Do you know what? If, if this sod's going to keep going for a quick attack, I'm going to go for one as well. Screw you. I'm not taking any more damage. There you go. Lovely. Also, I think you get Icy Wind from Price, so it's not incredibly useful, to be honest. It's not incredibly useful right now. I mean, it's better than Powder Snow, but not by much, to be fair. Ah, there we go. Yep, I see it. I see it. Yeah, there were two. Oh no. No, I no, I see. No, looking back on it now, actually, I see what Matthias is saying. Um, to be fair, yeah, I think it might have been like the shadow, like his shadow when he jumped over it. But for, for a split second, for me, it looked like the. It looked like they were just two, two team rockets. I'm going to keep that in cannon. I'll just do that. That'd be nice. Right. So it was that one. Never mind. And I've got fodder up front, haven't I? It's a pissing Voltorb. 
Oh no, this is my nightmare! Or is it actually? Because I got you. So actually, this isn't a nightmare at all. Sandy man, sick him. Kill, do you know what? I'm just gonna do this. Sandy man, kill every single one of them. Because you, my friend, need experience as well. You're one of our best Pokemon back in blue. So, you know, we need to keep you strong. So do you know what? These Voltorbs just want to come along and die on Sandy Man, then go right ahead. Come on, Sandy Man! Let's murder all of them! Every single one of them. I might. Ooh, they got coffins as well. Well, that's fine. That is alright for Sandy Man as well! Levitate hadn't been invented as of yet. So you're screwed! Oh, you did survive that, though. Oh, you could poison me. Oh good, and with Sludge you probably will. No, you didn't, okay. That's a decent place to level up, I guess. I mean, look at that experience. That experience is quite good. Okay, so that's the way you're supposed to go. I'm just gonna clear them all out. Ooh, a Geodude! Okay. What you got? What's your gimmick? Magnitude, I'm guessing. Probably magnitude, so I'm just gonna dig. Sod you, buddy! Sod you, buddy! <coughs> yeah, you go ahead, you go for the defense kill, go right ahead. I dig you! Oh. You've got that, have you? Ooh. Okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> Yay! Geodudes have self-destructs now! Yes, the greatest thing in Pokemon Nuzlocke runs. Yay! To be fair, I don't think, well at least with the last Nuzlocke run as well, maybe Infirmus Challenge might be the last time. I don't think I've actually had a Pokemon die to a self-destruct yet. I've just jinxed it, I know, but, you know, still. <clears throat> Sandy Man can tank them. To be fair, self-destruct and explosion are nuts in these gens. Until, like, maybe Gen 4. Because it halves your defense, it halves your opponent's defense as well. So, it's just a completely nuts move. I'm gonna go down here, solve this. Solve this, I'm leaving. I'm taking my glorious, lovable team and going home. Stop it! You horrible sods! Stop trying to kill my team! Oh, I actually want that item, to be fair. Right, no more going kaboom, thank you. So, yeah! One electric type Pokemon, and I'm pretty much screwed. <coughs> Bar! Sandy Man, of course. Sandy Man's my only out to electric type Pokemon, but. So much of my team is weak to it. Jed, the scientist. The scientist. Got a Magnemite, which are much more annoying in this game. <laughs> I got fodder out. Oh. oh, you think you can beat him? Nope. <laughs> nope. Not even trying with that. You can go up against Sandy Man. Okay. Digging time. Lots of digging time. Yeah, you tackle, you mish. Take that. Take the power of the dig. Power of the dig, power of the dig, power of the dig! Power of the dig compels you to go away and stop annoying me. Really does. I got another Magnemite. Mm, well, well, Mr. Magnemite, this is why I need a fire type. I need a fire type. I <sighs> just haven't had the... I've actually been able to come across one of them yet. I'm thinking, no. No, I've missed out. I've missed out, I think, so, yeah. Maybe we'll get one at some point. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for one, because fire types are staples of the game. Pokemon Crystal, no fire type challenge. I don't want that. I want a fire type for my team. 
You know, I didn't even care if it's one of the ones you where you require stones for it. Did I evolve my Eevee? I'm thinking. I got an Eevee, right? Yeah, I got it in Goldenrod. So I could evolve that into Flareon if I need to. No. Bloody items. Bloody bag. Right, what do we want? <laughs> that charcoal's just there to annoy me. Oh, we... oh this really stuff is kind of useful. All right, the Urpicurns. The Urpicurns can get lashed. That's what they can do. I don't know why I'm doing this for a, literally a guard spec. But oh well, I'm doing it for a guard spec. That's like lobbing away, like, all your money for a penny. Only idiots do that. Oh wait, I am that idiot. Right, who's next? Is it those sods again? Yes it is. Look! Buddy! Friend! Pal! I have beaten you three times now. You were the guy who I thought was a glitchy double, and you weren't. And now I'm unhappy with the fact that you're not. So if you don't mind, stop this. Uh, Eevee as an Umbreon would be more handy. It certainly would, yes. Uh, just something to counter psychic types. Ah, oh, but it would really sort of come in handy for that. I mean, Umbreon is good, but doesn't hit hard enough for me. Uh, which is why I went for Houndoom. Um, over my Umbreon in Pokemon Colosseum. Because Umbreon, it was great at being a tank, but it just didn't have, it didn't have the damage potential. So, I mean, when it comes to all the evolutions, I'd use, especially at this point in the, uh, in the, well, in the generations, I would use any of them, but Umbreon is probably the one that I'd go, uh, like, pro, pro, out of, if I was to rank them all, Umbreon would probably be at the bottom, to be honest. Simply because it's Gen 2, and I don't really think it's very good in Gen 2. It gets better later on, but it's not brilliant in Gen 2. Um, who would I put next? I'd probably put maybe Flareon next, because there's just so many other fire types that are great. Schnoggin's up to 28. I don't think we need to put the experience share on Schnoggin anymore. It's a Gurmer. Okay, we'll stay in on this one. Um, probably Flareon after that, because essentially it's a, it's an all-rounder, which is fine, but... Uh, I, prefer, I prefer other Pokemon. Um, then, probably Espeon after that. Um, again, Psychic types are brilliant, um, but there are, there are better Psychic types out there. But still, Espeon's a really good shout. Um... And then it's between essentially what was my favourite and now what is certainly catching up on it, which is Jolteon and Vaporeon. Vaporeon is such a tank. I love the fact that Vaporeon is such a tank. You know, and and um, Jolteon just wrecks everything uh, with speed and special attacks. So it's it's also very good. It's between those two. I, for a Nuzlocke, I would go for Vaporeon. Uh, if it wasn't a Nuzlocke, I'd probably go Jolteon. But the fact is, neither of those. Actually, no, Jolteon would be kind of useful. Um, but yeah, wouldn't be it great to be fair. No, I want that. Where's that pissing guard spec I just got? Come on, a guard of apricorns. We're pissing guards. Oh, yeah, because the experience share I chucked. Oh, I didn't chuck. I put back in there. Jolteon for me. Yeah, Jolteon's a pretty good one. I mean, the only, re the only thing that makes Jolteon kind of bad is simply its lack of moves. It doesn't have a brilliant move pool. Which, later generations, Espeon gets a really good move pool. Like, really good. Um, but, yeah, I'm 
wouldn't. Jolteon and Vaporeon just don't. I mean, Vaporeon can get ice moves, which is fine. Um, and Jolteon can't really get anything more. Maybe in Missile or something at this point in the game. And Pin Missile isn't great. Not with Dark types about now. Oh, that's better experience. Go on, fodder. Get yourself to the next level. Go on, fodder. Beat up this bat. Fly away. Smack his flashing. Do it. There you go. Okay, do things in my land. Bloody Zubat. Get out of here. There should only be one Zubat. Most because then I can say, oh, I got a Zubat. And then... Everyone else can be happy while in caves. You said that last time, mate, as my controller disconnects again. Lovely. That is twice now in the space of... <clears throat> just over half an hour. Lovely. Alright, cool. See, well, I actually just got a new, uh, I got a new keyboard, actually. I got, um, I got a re... Um, essentially it's a light-up keyboard, simply because of where my... Pretty much how like it's, it's pretty much how like sort of where my light is in my studio, and it's essentially behind me. So uh, I cast a shadow on my keyboard, and it just I can't see the uh, the letters sometimes. Simply because it gets really dark now um, in uh, in England very quickly. It's already dark, and it has been for about an hour and a half. Um, so I thought I'd just get a lighty up one. To be fair, it works with everything else. I've got lighty uppy headphone stand, lighty uppy speakers. I think it's just because I like things that light up. Just thought, how can a ten-year-old get a bike into a bag? Yeah. No, I, I, I've always had the issues when it comes to that. You know. Maybe it's one of those fold-out bikes or something, but then fold-out bikes came out later, I think, than this game. So maybe they predict the future. Or maybe just the fact that, just like Pokemon, when they go into Pokeballs, it gets smaller when it gets into the bag, and it's like, teeny tiny hand size. You know, like those clown bikes. Right. We don't have to worry about that anymore, but what does this do? Send us back to the start. Right, well, I might as well, since you've allowed me to do that. Much bloody well go and get a healing done. Alright. Can we actually go to the... Can we actually go to the east at the moment? I don't think... I'm pretty certain we can't. Because <clears throat> essentially, this is the giant roadblock of Rocket. As it's known. <laughs> the giant roadblock of Rocket. Oh, Joey! Yo, Master, how you doing? Is Joey got a minute? Let's get together and battle. Oh, 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 you want to battle me, do you? All right, quick detour from the quick detour. I'm going to go punch Joey in the face. Fodder, it's going to be up to you, this. Joey, maybe you'll learn. Don't get in the way of me. Don't do it. It's not good for your bleeding health. No! I don't want you! Uh, I like to think it shrinks into those tiny finger BMX bikes similar to finger skateboards. It could do, or maybe there's like, um, what are they called? Like, you know, like tail bars on like the back of cars and everything like that. But like something to hook the bike onto. So maybe he's got, maybe he's got that or something. He's got some of that to get that sorted. I mean, there are so many opportunities, really, with this right to you, isn't it? I mean, wait, let's battle now! Right. What level is your Rattata? Is it still a Rattata? As the controller goes again. Lovely. That's fine, we can look at Joey's face a bit more. Oh, it's Eradicate! 21. Interesting. Interesting. You went for scary face. Okay. Fodder is not scared of your face. Scared of that, though! Oh, I was scared of Hyperfang. Thank you, Fodder. Nice dodging. 
Goodbye, Joey! I don't know if that would have killed fodder, but I think that might have gotten close. I think it would have been down to pretty much crit or no crit to settle that. Didn't want that to happen. Yeah, well, fodder's doing well, kind of. <laughs> At least fodder dodged that. Okay. Let's put Marvin up front now. Ah, no, we can't. We can't get out of it. Okay. You should try a rage candy bar. Okay. No. But you're still gonna get in my way like an ass. I would like to catch more Mons, but you're preventing that. You're preventing me from catching more Pokemon. But I desperately need more types for my team. Most of my stuff is flying. Normal. And that's about it. Well, most of my stuff is. I need variety. And at the moment, I'm going into a potential Gym 7 and I don't have it yet. I got my top syndrome with Eradicate now. Well, it still died in two. You're right. Your Pokemon hurt and tired. Oh, well, you're just a prick. Here, let me get a PowerPoint on your Pidgeotto's fly and quick attack. Right, we're all good. Let's give it our best for our Pokemon. I'm trying. You left a bunch of bleeding landmines up there, for God's sakes. Doors are closed. Password to open. Oh yeah, this one. Hello. You rotten little pest. Yes. And. Bloody rocket bastard. Right. Venonat. The nattiest of venom. You go against Marvinus. Who is also. That type. Well, I can fly actually to be fair. So actually better than you. Yeah. You try the confusion? I land on you! I land on you and go nom 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 nom! Yes, we're dead now. Yes. Marvina eats Venonats. Just in case you wanted to know. I mean, to be fair, Marvina probably eats anything. Oh, another Venonat. Yeah. Well, Marvin up. You get yourself a snack. You get a snack. He's stepping on your N. He's stepping on the N. Look at that. He's stepping on the name of your N. Us, who are you? Swarm Venonat. We are Venonat, for we are many. For we are many! For you are also dead. <laughs> Pretty much all you need to do. When there's a, a, a swarm, you just need to kill the lot of them. That'll saw it. Don't ever do that in real life, or you'll be uh, uh, the main cause of extinction. Of something. Door won't open. Well, duh, it has to have a password on it, rocket mode. <coughs> right. Have you seen Marvinus face? Have you seen Marvinus face? Yeah, well you got a gold bat. Good for you. Your gold bat hates you though. Or it would be a crow bat like mine. Here. Here's the massive difference between us. Marvina, kick his face in. There you go, your one sucks. Oh no, supersonic, what am I gonna do? Such a shame. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> uh, your Golbat sucks, mate. Bloody evolve it. Get, get, the, get those legs moving. And just walk around for a, about a day. Your Golbat love you then. Level it up once, and you got yourself a lovely Crobat. That's my top tip for you, mate. Even though I'll probably never battle you again. Actually, I'm pretty certain I won't battle you again. It takes two passwords to open, uh, to get into the boss's quarters. Those passwords are known only to a few rockets. That rocket there very graciously told me so. Right, so let's go get those passwords. Uh, fine, I'll go this way then. Uh, oh, oh, full heal. Damn it, full heal. It's just got so much stuff. So much stuff in here. I should really just like... I want to keep all this. Oh, get rid of Bitterberry. It's kind of pointless. Right. 
Full heal. Full healing. Okay. Got that there. Oh, great. Ice heal. Do you know what? I actually don't want that. You're right, buddy. How you doing today? Yo, yo, yo. You're charging me to a battle. <laughs> you got nuts, but you got your nuts, but you have guts. I like that. If you can beat me, I'll tell you a password to the boss's room. I was trying to do a goofy impression there. It didn't really work very well. Then it kind of turned into Cletus from The Simpsons. <laughs> so never mind. Ah, you have Eradicate. Well, 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 you do have Eradicate. Fair play to you. You very much do have Eradicate, but I do have Fly. By very graciously, Lance means Dragonite using Hyper Beam on Team Rocket grunts. Uh, to be fair, why can't his Dragonite just Hyper Beam the door? Why can't he do that? Why can't he, why can't he just go, Dragonite, Hyper Beam the door? It would certainly sort out all these problems since this is technically a, a, a hideout of a criminal syndicate. But I don't think anyone cares about that at the moment. Alright, well, I don't need an X special. Oh, I want that protein. Protein! My Pokemon need to get buff as hell. Buff as hell! I'll oh, get rid of this mint berry. Goofy Team Rocket grunt, yeah. Oh, Hyakurus. He's at it again. Okay. Protein! I think we're just when it comes to the drugs of the game, you might as well just use them as quick as possible. Because once your IVs start going up, it's going to become less and less likely you're going to be able to get that. So, might as well use it now. Beast, unless it goes against an electric type attack, I'm quite certain will probably survive. Most of the way through, at least. I don't care that Pokemon are hurt by our experiments. Well, you, sir, are an arsehole! Very much an arsehole, and oh well. I mean, there's a rhyming word to describe you. To be fair, Mitch, you got a ditto. You have a level 24 ditto. Well, this is gonna suck for you, isn't it? I wonder how this transform's gonna work. How's this gonna work, eh? You missed. That means I get a free shot next round as well, if you live that long, which you do, fair play. You have now transformed into a pink sand slash. But who's quicker? Who's quicker? I'm quicker. You're very much dead. There you go, a bit of strategy there to take out a ditto. Sandy Man was faster, and Mitch the Bitch has been defeated. Thinking it is my strong suit, not battling. Well, apparently a shit at both. Right, moving on. Wait, did I did I get the password from him? For all yuckers? Radicate tail. Okay. Cool. Just in case I need it. Just in case I need it at any point. Oh buddy. God, the cave's incredibly tough. Uh I guess so. Right, well let's let's beat you up. To work for Silver now. I run research for Team Rocket. Now some child like you needs to be punished. Oh yeah, now you're gonna do that. What? You're gonna bore me, Ross. You're gonna bore me. Nope, you're actually gonna try and poison me. Okay, that's worse than what I thought. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Would well, you know what? If you want to go boom, you go right ahead because I'm safe underground. No, you didn't. Well, sucks for you. Sucks it's not Gen 3, isn't it, coughing? Well, you'd have Levitate by now. Sadly, you don't. Which means it's Advantage Sandy Man. What we got now? Another coughing. Well, I feel a repeat performance. Don't you? I certainly do. Let's just make more holes in their hideouts. To the point that the... The the, uh, the people below, they're starting to see ceiling tiles fall down. It's like, what the bloody hell is happening up there? I wonder if massive ceiling tile, concrete ceiling tile, lands on the boss's head and he dies. I'm just like, oh, that was easy. 
That's all you need. All you need is just Sandy Man to just dig a hole. Enough of all this rubbish. Yes, my controller did go out again. <laughs> I am not just randomly kicking a wall for no reason. Don't worry about it. Right. I guess I'll pick Beast now. To be fair, I have left the three members... Well, okay, no, I was about to say three members of my team. Then I noticed... Uh, no, I'm gonna get it. I will certainly get that big password from you. I've already got one of them. Actually, speaking of that... Why isn't Lads getting it? He just left it all to us, the lazy sod. He's left it all to us, hasn't he? He's there going, I'm too important with my Dragonite. With my Derpizards. I'm too important for this. Oh, you wait till we get to the Elite Four and I'm gonna... Smash your face in with Jinx. Ooh, gloom. Okay. Alright. It's good thing Marvin is not up to level 28 yet. <laughs> oh, gloom. Oh. <laughs> Gloom's face that. She's like, oh, Hello. Would you like to fight me? Hello. That's the oh, god. Right in the mouth. In the mouth. Boom! And then Gloom died. Oh, nearly. Nearly 28. Come on, Marvina. Nearly 28. Uh, no, you're not going to stop me. Password to the boss's room is Slowpoke Tail. But it's useless unless you have two passwords. Well, luckily for you, I have both. Ah, and Lance did nothing. Lance did absolutely bugger all. Door is closed. It needs password to open. I I have both of them. Maybe it's another door. To be fair, I haven't actually played this generation in bloody years, so. so it is one of the other doors. It was like that one or something. Right. Is that about the gloom, I'm guessing? I think so. It's probably it. Yep. Yeah. Right. Sure, you know let's get a bit of law. Okay, never mind, no law. No law. No law for the game. Okay, fair enough. You could have put some flavor text there, game freak. You really could have. If that's the case, why put that there in the first place? Goons? Oh kid! I don't really like this. But eliminate you I must. Uh okay. You are. Uh, I was about to say there's, there, there, there are some good, there are some good parts of your mind, but I know. T to be fair, you work for Team Rocket. This is the same criminal organization that didn't ask me to be there. Well, actually, they did, and then every single time I said yes, they made it more difficult. Bet you, I bet that is the worst decision Team Rocket ever made in this canon. Because every time that they said, Do you want to join on the Nugget Bridge? I was saying, Yes, I want to join Team Rocket! There's a mod out now where you can play as Team Rocket. You can play as a Team Rocket member. But Game Freak refuses to give us a game where we can play as Team Rocket. The closest we've gotten is Coliseum, and that's all like an anti hero kind of thing. It's like, No, I actually just want to play the bad guys. Just once. I think it could be quite interesting. To be fair, Game Freak would probably mess it up. But, oh well. Right. Oh. oh bollocks. Kinda of forgot about you. Didn't I tell you that I was going to destroy Team Rocket? Tell me, who is the guy in the cape who used Dragon Pokemon? My Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost. I could beat him by getting stronger Pokemon. It's what he said that bothers me. He told me that I don't love and trust my Pokemon enough. I'm furious when I lost to a bleeding heart like him. I don't have time for the likes of you. Oh yeah, he just shoved me. 
Yeah, how many, how many times have you beaten me? Oh, yeah, none. Yeah, Blue Baby. That was his name, I think, if I remember correctly. Like, you suck at this. Oh, it takes a Oh, well, it depends on what it is, to be fair. Go on, give me something good. Eh. It's not terrible. It's a dark type move. <sighs> right, so dark. Dark is special in this game, so it's probably better for Schnoggin to have it. That allows Schnoggin to essentially beat up other young errors thing. Allows allows Schnoggin at least to beat up other psychic types, so yeah. Plus Thief is special in this game, since it's a dark type move. Okay, fine. We'll carry on. You nearly gave me a heart attack there. Fair, doors are closed. Enter the two passwords. The door opened, indeed it did. You alright? What? Who are you? It's the office of our leader, Giovanni. Since expanding Team Rocket three years ago, he's been in training. We're certain he'll be back someday to assume command again. That's why we're standing guard. We won't let anyone disturb this place. Uh, well, good luck with that. Good luck with that, buddy. You are an executive, though. Indeed you are. <laughs> Still got Zubat. that. <laughs> I have fought peons! Peons with Golbats! Peons! You, Mr. Executive, as a bleeding Zubat! I wonder how did you get this job, by the way? What? Have you got like a random picture of Giovanni or something, you know, that you don't want, that he doesn't want in the public domain or something like that? Because I'm guessing that you do. Anyway, Lob Giant. Dirt. Eradicate. Oh, this would suck. Okay. No, it does not. It does not. Not yet, anyway. It certainly could do, though. Alright, beast. Good job. Throw more giant dirt! Eradicate. Eradicate has been killed by giant dirt. Who's last? Copper. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep beast in here. Because I'll tell you my thought strategy on this. I'm going to keep Beast in. I'm going to switch into Marvina. So then Marvina's going to get experience as well. We're going to go for the Schmaug. The Schmaug. And you can't poison me since I am a poison type. You are very much utterly, butterly buggered, you are. There you go. Need to fly. She can fly, she can fly. You can die. Critical hit. Lovely. Good old Marvita. Level 28 for Beast. And level 28 for Marvina. That just leaves Africa Doll to go. We've defeated Executive. I couldn't do a thing. Giovanni, please forgive me. I'm mugging you as well, by the way. I can't let this affect me. I have to inform the others. Well, I'm going to run to a table first, though. No! Nah! Ah! Are you? Password is Hail Giovanni. Thank you, Merc Pro. Do you not have any flavor text here? I love this game. I love this generation. But God, Game Freak was slightly lazy. They could have put a little bit of extra flavor text in places. Master enters password. Hail Master. Access denied. Fine. Hail Giovanni instead. It's like, fine, I'll do that then. <sighs> Even though the first password's a better password, to be fair. I mean, honestly, it'd be, an, it'd be a difficult one to try and figure out. Why would Team Rocket have a hail for me? Even when in blue, I kick their ass. You know, makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. But no, they're dumb and predictable. So, hail Giovanni, hold it right there, oh god more of you, bugger off, we can't have a brat like you on the loose, 
it's harmful to Team Rocket's pride, you see. However strong you may be, you can't take both of us at the same time. Uh, yes I can, to be honest. Sorry, baby. Now you, now get ready to be thrashed. <laughs> Dragonite comes in. Hey, don't be so selfish. Spread the fun around. I believe when I initially did the playthrough of Pokemon Gold, I mentioned something about a threesome, I think, at this point. To be fair, to me, I was in my late teens at that point, so there you go. What, you had a, an accomplice? Where's your sense of honor? As the interim boss in place of Giovanni, I'll show you how strong, how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. Yeah, and I feel sorry for the poor guy above who's like, Ugh! Why have you left me with the Dragonites? Why? All right, Jesse reject has got Arbok. Okay, Arbok. Level 23. Go on, Africa doll. I have faith in you, my friend. Rage away! Rage! Oh, that's not a good idea, actually, to be fair. Because Arbok just debilitates my stats, so... Okay, never mind. Giant blue line of doom. Blue line of doom! Not bad. Don't get poisoned, come on. Good. Blue line of doom! Blue line of doom! Blue line of doom! Blue line of doom! You've been defeated. You've been struck by the blue line of doom. Speaking of things that rhyme with that, Gloom! We get to see our good old friend again! Oh! There you go. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I haven't got, like, food poisoning or feel queasy or whatever. Well, this will turn into a completely different stream. Well, well, there you go. That's Gloom for you. Dead. Probably in one, I think. To be fair. Go on, Marvina. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Marvina. Good job. Good job! Who's next? Murkrow. Well, that's Schnoggin, surely. Oh, no, hang on. Murkrow is a dark type. Huh. Okay, probably not Schnoggin, then. Um... Well, oh, cheers. Uh, that, that's, that's probably 14 years of doing this sort of thing. To be fair. They just... Essentially, just record and let the mind roll. That's pretty much what it is right now. Um, hmm, I'm not really too sure who to switch into here. Probably Marvina. Well, I'll try to, but this controller keeps buggering up. Come on, there you go. Marvina. Heck it. Do you know what, Mr. Murkrow? This is for every single time that I've had to try and catch one of you in Pokemon Go. <clears throat> because at one point you're bleeding everywhere. And you're a bastard to catch. So, Mr. Murkrow, this is for all of those times. All of those times, Murkrow. You and your stupid hat. Dumb looking hat. Your hat looks dumb and so do you, Murkrow. We have defeated the Jesse Reject. You really are strong. It's too bad. If you'd have joined Team Rocket, you could become an executive. <sighs> I tried to do that in Pokemon Blue. Executive! I already tried to do that, and you said no! Made it more difficult for me! Damn it. Boris Johnson approach. <laughs> hey, I haven't mentioned anything about Peppa Pig World yet. Just saying, I haven't mentioned anything about that yet. To be fair, my hair is probably about as wild as his at the moment. It's because I haven't had a haircut in about six months or that. That's fine. The broadcast experiment was a total success. It doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now. We have much bigger plans. You'll come to appreciate Team Rocket's true power soon enough. Enjoy yourself while you can. <laughs> How do you actually do that sort of laugh? 
Is it literally just... Because <laughs> God, that tickles your bottom lip. That did it. We defeated all the rockets here. I'm concerned about the young guy I battled in the process. Yeah, he's an ass. We're very much aware that he's an ass. Sorry, Master. I saw how well you were doing, so I just hung back. You lazy git! You lazy git! Oh, when I get to the Elite Four. You dead. If I get the Elite Four. You better hope I don't! You better hope that this Nuzlocke ends. Maybe it clears Kingdra. Because if it doesn't, you're going down. Simply for being a lazy prick. Now all there is left to do is to turn off that odd radio signal. F you, F you, F you, F you, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, to be fair, I have heard um, a couple of people, I think Kasich Scope was one of them that essentially started pronouncing it F you, F you, F you, like they're trying to swear or something. <laughs> It's this machine that's causing all the problems. I need to see a switch on it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode, all the electrode faint. That should stop this machine from transmitting that strange signal. It's no fault of the Pokemon, so it makes me feel guilty. Master, let's split the job. Oh, good. Electrodes. Oh, good. Electrodes! Oh, I might lose a couple here. I don't want to, but I might. Also, hang on a minute. Oh, shit. I forgot that Voltorb could have been my catch. I forgot about that. Balls. Balls! More of a ball than you, Electrode. Please tell me I'm faster. Ooh, okay. That is fine. As long as you kill it, or it blows up now. Go on, blow up. You know you want it. Thank you. Cheers for that, you goon. I'm r I'm just really worried about these things going boom. It's Electrode. Can Sandy Man deal with it? I hate self-destruct and explosion and stuff. I think anyone who does a Nuzlocke does. Stop winking at me. Right, let's try another dig. Oh god, okay, okay, okay. Okay, no crits. Don't die, Sandy Man. Oh, that was a crit! Okay, okay. No, that's actually really good to know. Right, right. Okay, that was a critical hit. Brilliant to know. Right, I am healing the ever loving ass out of it, out of you, Sandy Man. You're not dying today, buddy. You are not dying today. Because I need you to tank the last one. And I don't think there's a way that... <sighs> it could have explosion, couldn't it? I don't think they got explosion. If they got explosion, I'm screwed. Electro is flirting with you. <laughs> yeah, well, stop winking at me. Stop it! Stop it! Immediately stop! He's just all like, eh, eh, I'm, I'm flirting with you. And then he's going to go boom. Well, that's, that's an incredibly volatile relationship, to be fair. So I don't want to be involved in that at all, Electrode. So please go boom on your own time. Oh, God, you didn't. Please kill it, Sandy Man. Yes! Whew. Okay. Panic averted. Sandy Man is God. Thank you, Sandy Man. Again, again, just like in Pokemon Blue's Nuzlocke. The ultimate bomb diffuser. As always, Sandy Man. The old signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. Well, the hero, let me thank you on behalf of all the Pokemon. Oh, yes, you, you should take this. I found it here, but I don't have any need for it. HM06. Whirlpool. Ugh. That is one of the bad ones. And you don't even need to use it that often, to be fair. I mean, we could probably... I mean, I still think we need Waterfall to fight Lugia. But still. 
Ugh. Electrode winking at kids, kind of sus. Yeah, very sus. Very sus indeed. Now, there's these guys bugging off. Oh, we got the radio then. Yay, Oak's Pokemon Tour. What have you got to say, Oak? With me, Mary. Taurus. Maybe seen around. Route 38. Would have loved one of those. Would have loved a Taurus, because Taurus is still good in this generation. Right. I think next is the gym. Do I have a good out for it, though? The answer to that is a resounding no. But I do have water types. I have... I mean, I, I have a few flying types, to be fair, as well. <clears throat> it's going to be tough. Oh, is he gone, actually? Have you gone? Have you... Actually, is it price time? Is it price time? I don't know. <coughs> Should have looked over the side. Yeah, we can go to this gym. Okay. Alright, guys. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to go for the quick midstream break. Uh, since we've gone over an hour at this point. Well, at least if you get rid of the pre-stream section, which I'm going to. Uh, which I always do because it's a bit boring, to be fair. Um, for the VOD, but I'll see you back here in just a little bit. everybody, I'm back, and um, hey Mastrath, have you heard about the remakes of Gen 4 for the Switch? 
They made the HMs into TMs. Is that the um, brilliant diamond shining pearl, or is that the uh, the Legend of Arceus one? Um, but yeah, uh, I have I have heard sort of like bits and bobs about this. I think in one of my previous streams, I think someone mentioned that Cleavor exists, and I kind of predicted that uh, in my Shining Soul playthrough about six years ago. So that's quite I think that's quite fun um, on that one. But yeah, that's uh, yeah. I mean, one of my biggest gripes, um, like for example, Gen Five, is that they made TMs reusable. Which, yeah, for casual, that's fine and everything. But it completely devalues any form of replay value that the game could have. Unless you wanted to try, like, a different starter or something. That's probably the only reason why you'd want to. Um, but back then, it was so, so, so difficult to get right, the, the right ones you want. Uh, the right, um, yeah, just the right everything you want. Like, like for example, in this generation, um, Sleep Talk sets were so good in competitive. Sleep talk sets were brilliant. Um, and then you got like curse sets and everything. And now you can just get a great team kind of easily. Right. I feel like I could probably brute force this with Beast to be fair. Uh, brilliant diamond shining pearl ones. Okay. Um, yeah, I have sort of her sort of bits and everything when it comes to that. To be fair, I'm probably not as hyped for that as a lot of people. A lot of people are. I mean, a lot of people just really wanted to see um, a remake of Gen 4. I never really enjoyed Gen 4 myself, um, so I mean, obviously, if they're going to do a remake, that's the next one to do. So that makes sense. But I'm just not as yeah, I'm just not not as stoked as a lot of other people are. Right. You gotta be wary of that Aurora Beam. Yeah, it only does normal damage, but it's fine. Ooh, Headbutt. That might do more damage. That did about the same, to be fair. Alright, finishes off with Dragon Rage! Rage of the Dragon Beast! I didn't really... Well, one of my biggest gripes with Generation 4 is... <coughs> the new animation made it feel very slow. Um, it's not my least favourite generation anymore. That honour, if you call it that, belongs to Gen 7. Um, I think my playthrough of Pokemon Sun shows that. You could probably cut out about half of the dialogue in that game, and you lose no plot. Also, I find... How annoying. I'm not really a big fan of Barry, honestly, either. I, I prefer the asshole rival. It makes more sense for them to be an asshole because then you just want to beat them. While well, this is just like, oh, it's just two friends fighting, or whatever. Well, in the end, if, if, if they're an ass, right? Then you're just like, I just want to absolutely destroy you so fast that you wish you never picked up a Pokeball. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's a big gripe I've had with a lot of the newer Pokemon games, because there's no arsehole rival anymore. I mean, I guess you could say Gladian in Gen 7, but that's about it, really. Right, another Dugong. Yeah, I'm probably going to try and maybe brute force this with Beast. See how well I do. Because while ice type attacks are not very effective against water type Pokemon, water type attacks are normal effectiveness to ice type Pokemon. So, and he's got a pile of swine, which can pretty much do nothing to me. So, I think we're probably good. Beast is going to be slightly over leveled in comparison to the rest of the team, but I think honestly it'd be worth it. Ooh, you actually survived that one. You went for the growl! Ah, growling! Seal is adorable, though. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta give Seal that. Seal is adorable! So many Pokemon are adorable. Eevee's the best. Eevee is adorable as hell. I still have, um... People who um, are on the Mastrath Gaming Discord. Uh, I shared a picture about... God, I must 
must have been about six months ago or whatever, um, of a, essentially a canvas print painting uh, that my 11-year-old niece uh, painted for me, and it's of Callie the Eevee uh, from my uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee playthrough. And I think it's brilliant. It's actually on my wall in my studio, so yeah, it's there on the wall. Just to my left-hand side, looking at it now. But yeah. I think it's, um, I, I, I just think it's, I just think Eevee's just adorable. The most adorable Pokemon they ever made. Brilliant. Right. Well, I want to fight you, obviously. I know Price is secret. What, that he's old? If you say that it's because he's old, Douglas, that's not a secret. That is very, very obvious. And not a secret. Okay, well anyway. Lob giant bits of dirt at this shelter. He's trying to be a seal, but failing. I'm trying to have a serious conversation with you. Oh yes, yeah, so am I. And I'm failing. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, I might have watched uh, Helsing Ultimate a bridge recently. Uh, about sixth time round. Oh, cloister. Okay, physical tank. That ruins my strategy, kind of. Also, apparently ruins my controller. God damn it. How many times is that now? Four or five times? I need to get a different controller, to be fair. Uh, let's go for a surf, then. Ooh, the protect! Ooh, look at this guy coming in with the, uh, with the meta. This guy coming in with the meta strats. The meta strats from this random cloister. Let's see how much damage this does, at least. Let's see. Oh, okay, not much. Aurora Beam. Okay. Oh, alright. Decent damage cloister. Fair play to you. Fair play to you indeed. However, I have Blue Line of Doom. Can you handle Blue Line of Doom? Apparently, yes, you can with Supersonic. Fair enough. Still, though, I'm not even bothering with that. I'm just going to switch into Africa Doll because Africa Doll needs experience. Because Africa Doll is starting to lag behind. Another Aurora Beam. Well. That's even worse for you. Because that's not very effective. And now, you are getting nommed on. Noms. Special move in this game, so all good. Good experience there for Africa Doll as well, actually, to be fair. Another Shelder. Do you know I'm just going to keep Africa Doll in on, on this, I think. Okay. Let's see how much damage a nomming does. Not bad. Nice try. Very nice try. But unfortunately, aha, Shelda, you have failed. And Africa Doll grew to 28. Scary face. The kid's not awake, so we don't need scary face. Scary face, scary face, scary face, scary face. Whoop, the kid's awake! The scary feet, but close enough. Right, I probably need to get the hell out of here <laughs> to heal again! It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be a thing in this stream because we are still kind of under leveled. Not as much as we were for the Jasmine and the Chunk fight, but still quite bad in comparison. I mean, the fact that I don't have anything really useful, at least when it comes to types. It's not brilliant, to be fair. Right, you're next, buddy. This gym has slippery floor. It's fun, isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. Well, you are. You're playing the game of who can get the most insurance money when they fall over. More likely, Brad. Ah, there you go. You got swine up. Giant nose. That's fine. I do like swine up as a Pokemon. Again. Kind of adorable. Um, but also, I am losing so many man points in this stream. But I don't care about them anyway. I once called Shiny Mareep adorable. Because Shiny Mareep is. No one can say it's not unless they really hate sheep. But yeah, I had a, I had a, um, a pile of swine for my Pokemon Gold playthrough. 
Oh, speaking of that, oh no, we got the bloody that uh, ice cave coming up next. That's not that's that's not going to do me any good. Unfortunately, there you go. Swine up is so adorable. Swine up definitely is music lover nine five six two. Definitely, swine up is adorable as hell. Right, how do I get to fighting you? I do this. Hello. Hello. To get to price our gym leader, you need to think before you skate. I'm not skating. I'm desperately trying to not slip over on my ass, Roxanne. Who would know that next generation you'd become a gym leader? You got jinxed this time, though. Right, this might be a problem. I say might. It's level 28. I think we'll all go for the surf here. The surf is... Stab! Give it a go. See how much damage this jinx does. Oh. Okay. Have a good all it is, then. Well, well done. You put my Pokemon to sleep. Good for you. And now you're at using Powder Snow. I'm kind of worried to be... Oh, God, you're faster. I'm worried of a Psychic-type attack taking Aphrodite out with maybe a crit. That's what I'm worried about. I don't want that to happen. Okay, decent damage. Okay, good, good. We're good. We're golden. We're golden! Now go on. Yep. Slap slap her three times, and then she will use the amazing blue line of doom. You are screwed! Jinx, screwed. Alright. Nice. Victory over Roxanne. I wouldn't lose you in skiing. You probably wouldn't, sadly. This is a Pokemon battle. Sadly for you. Good for me, though. Right, more healing. Okay, our next roadblock is Price. Luckily, his pile of swine doesn't worry me, so that's good. But the rest of his ice types could take out half my team. So I've got to be wary about who to pick here. I'm going to pick Aphrodite first. I'm going to leave Beast for pile of swine. How the hell do we get to him? Um, now let's put it back here. Uh, this. There we go. You're right, you old geezer. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I'm your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been with Pokemon since before you were born. Not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Yeah, and what you don't know, Price, is that um, your main Pokemon <coughs> uh, is probably going to get one shot. I'm more worried about your other two, to be fair. Right, level 27 Seal. I'm going to get the bites going. I'm going to get the bites going. Try and maybe get some flinches. Oh god, you're going for it as well, are you? You go for flinches? Well, I'm faster than you are. I'm you're quick, but I'm quicker. I'm quicker than you. Price is wrong, bitch. Happy Gilmore reference. Indeed, indeed. Okay, can I at least get one flinch? That'd be quite nice. Oh crit, I'll take that. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. I'll I'll shut my mouth. I'll shut my mouth and stop saying, eh, yeah, you wanna you wanna flinch. Oh, you! Great, we're playing this game, are we? Are we playing this game, Seal? Are we? Well, that sucks for me, doesn't it? Ah, uh, rest. You know what? Since you're um, just having a, a nice nappy, uh, n n a nice nappy bye, um, I'm gonna lob giant bits of dirt at you. Hope you enjoy it. Dirt! There you go. Take that. You woke up to use Icy Wind. The TM we get for winning. 
It lowered my speed. Beast is still faster. You lose. Okay, one down. Good start. Kind of. Kind of a good start. Right, who's next? Dugong. Ah. I don't get some gym leaders. Uh, they say they specialize in a specific type, and yet they have some Pokemon that don't have that typing, like Volkner uses Octillery despite being an electric type user. I don't get the whole specializing anyway, because I, I think that kind of just makes them easier. Nice nappy. Seal probably wears Huggies. Probably. Ah, oh, right. Um, I got a conundrum here. Do I keep Beast in and hope Africa Doll can beat Pile of Swine? Do I bring Schnoggin in? I wish I didn't get rid of Sing now. I'm gonna keep Beast in. I'm gonna keep Beast in on you. Okay. I wanna go for the Dragon Rage. Oh god, you're faster. Bugger! You're faster than me! Oh, that did more than I was expecting. Right. See how much the Dragon Rage does. We can sort of gauge how much his health is. Decent, okay. Right, gonna go for another Aurora Beam. Alrighty then. Okay, that, that's better. Strength! Go! Elite 4 Flint, he's only, <laughs> only two fire types. Yeah, true. Okay. Ah, oh, there's rest again. That's fine, that's fine, because Beast kills you in three turns. See? Price knows the meta! Just rest a bunch! Price knows Price knows what's up. Yeah, so Strength and Dragon Rage do pretty much the same damage. Fair enough. Right. <clears throat> Unless you wake up this turn... Which you don't! Victory! Okay. Two down. One to go. I don't trust Beast being in there right now, because Beast is too... Beast is too slow. No, Pilot Swine's probably slower than Dugong. Leer! I don't want Leer! I don't want Beast to have Leer! Oh, Pilot Swine's probably... Yeah, Pilot Swine's probably slower, so... I'm gonna stay in, actually. Okay. Surf away, yes! Okay. Pilot Swine is slower. Right. Beast isn't a great special attacker, so I'm not expecting for this to do much. That's enough. Oh shit, no. No, 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 no! No, Beast! Yes! I'll take it, I'll take that, I'll take that! Get out of there! <sighs> Come on, miss one! Miss one! Kill it. Kill it, Africa doll. Kill it. Kill it now. Just do it. Come on. Come on. Yes. Whew, okay. I was not expecting. <laughs> I didn't think that Pilot might have Blizzard. Oh, okay then. <coughs> All right then. Okay. All right. God, oh, that would have sucked if Beast died. Cause I was, I've been there saying for the last two streams, oh, I think my Gyarados is going to survive till the end. Oh, that would suck if Beast died there. Whew. Okay. TM16, which is Icy Wind, not Blizzard. You have Blizzard. Give me bloody Blizzard. Ice Beam, even. Ice Beam's better. Give me Ice Beam. But no, you don't. Hello, Elm. As to how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasts. They were talking about Team Rocket. You must have didn't know anything about it. Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. Thanks for letting me know where we need to go next. Can we at least... Thank you. Okay, well, healing first. <laughs> oh, I can't believe how close people are to dying. Randomly turned into Shaggy! Zoinks! Randomly turned into Shaggy! Ooh. Right, okay. <clears throat> well, that can go just go alongside the rest of them. 
when it comes to, oh god, have I just lost one of my main team members. Ugh. Like my Snorlax and Alakazam, for example. That's a fine example there. Back in Blue Nuzlocke. I uh, need to go gamble to get Ice Beam Blizzard, if I recall correctly. Yeah, probably true on that one. I'm gonna win for sure! I might try and do that at some point, to be fair. Right. You're a psychic. Your name is Phil. You got Natu. Would I have minded a Natu on my team? Probably not. It's not bad, I guess. I mean, oh no, no, then again, then again, as I think about it, I've got enough flying types in my team, I don't need any more, so yeah, wouldn't want a Natu at this point. Or Natu, depends on, depends on what, however you want to pronounce it. Ooh, Hadabara. Okay. Shame Bite's special in this game, isn't it? Ah, oh, balls. Well, I need to finish this quick, don't I? I need to finish this mighty quick. Well, you're an idiot. You're a giant, spoon-wielding moron. And you have lost to Africa Dahl, who grows to 29. Lovely. Okay, we have defeated Phil. Goodbye, Phil. Right, so this is a new route, right? Pretty certain. Max Chappelle's okay. Max Chappelle is all right by me. Just going to double check if this is a new. Oh, I'm also going to check to see what Pokemon's I've got. Not many, to be fair. Uh, Blizzard is at the Goldenrod Game Corner. Gotcha. Okay. I don't think we want it now, but maybe later we might want it. Anyway, I'm going to go back to probably Seamwood, actually. Just try and get some bulge. Because we are probably going to be wanting a new Pokemon. Is there a Mart here? There's not even a piss in it. Surely there's a Mart here. Is there not a Mart here? Surely there's a Mart here. That's a Pokey. There's no Mart here. Well, sod you then. Of course, I had to pick the, the two places that don't have Marts. Olivine it is then. Olivine has a Mart. You just go to Goldenrod and just get it all over with. Punched Fight Team Rocket. Nope. Ice Beam Flamethrower and Thunderbolt replaced with the Elemental Punches. Ah, okay. Really? Okay, I've got great balls. They'll have to do. I need to 20 of them. Also, while I'm here. Why are you here? Are you wondering? Would you like this lovely nugget? Would you like this nugget? You'd like the nugget. Oh, oh you'll give me money for the nugget. Good for you. Also, I'm going to clean out this bleeding bag while I'm here as well. Might as well. I'm, I think I'm actually just kind of sick of coming up to a, a limit on what I can get. It's like, no. Right, deposit. What do I need right now? The least stone I don't need at the moment. Uh, don't need the charcoal. <coughs> don't need the miracle seed either. It's kind of pointless for me to, for me to have. Um, I'm going to keep the poison cure berries just in case I need them. Uh, simply because rocket's next. So yeah, the rocket hideout is next in Goldenrod. And my Pokemon might get poisoned, and it's very far away from the Pokemon Center. So it's probably more useful to do that way. Right. Did I actually heal my team? I did not. Well, there you go. Alright, Schnoggin, let's put you up front for a bit. You need to evolve after all. Actually, sod it, no. No, because that would be risking Schnoggin, and Schnoggin's just not powerful enough for that yet. So you can have the experience share, and we can let someone else do it instead. Fodder! Like you. How about you? We'll give it a good old fodder. And a blue baby fight, yeah. So, yeah, that's going to suck for us. Right, new route. I 
like mons. Not that I could headbutt a tree. I could headbutt a tree. Or I could fight this guy. I'll do anything to get my hands on rare Pokemon. Get out of here, creep! Get out of here! Zack! Do you have a Rhyholm, though? Fair play to you. Uh, fodder! <laughs> you are in no good condition to fight this Rhyhorn. Um, Sandy Man's in a better condition, to be fair. Sandy Man is in a better position to fight Rhyhorn. Go on, Sandy Man. Tail whip. It failed. So here comes... Dig in the ground! Pouring at the ground! There's a stomp. You just stomp right into the hole, your foot stuck. And now I break a broken your ankle. Take that. That's why I did so much damage after all. You stomped me with the other ankle. Which did pretty much nothing. So, here we go again. Go on, get your other front hoof stuck. There you go. Two broken ankles and a defeated Rhyhorn. Sorry, but... Sorry, Rhyhorn. I do like you. I like you, Rhyhorn. I really do. But, nah. Sorry, buddy. Your Pokemon is so appealing. I, th I thought for a minute that said appalling. I thought, I beg your pardon, you bastard. Um, can we headbutt the tree to get a fire type legitimately? You can. So, since I haven't caught Pokemon on this route yet, the headbutt tree counts as the encounter, but for this route specifically, I'm just worried about it being like literally anything else. Then again, to be fair, I don't think this thing's got anything else. So all it's got is headbutt trees. So I'm going to have to headbutt it. See what I get. I actually got something first try. Who'd have thunk it? What?! Don't you dare. Don't you dare run away from me. No, I need you. I need you. Give. Give me. You. No. I need this Heracross. I really want this Heracross. Give me Heracross. Do it. Come on. I need this Heracross. I need this Heracross. No, 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 no. Don't, just don't. Okay, just don't run. Don't run. Don't run, Heracross. We're gonna have a brilliant time. You could be my Snorlax out. You know you wanna be. You know you wanna be. How rare is that to get Heracross in a headbutt tree? How rare is it? I wanna know. Come on, Heracross. Damn it, come on, Heracross. For God's sakes, you want, you want to join the team. You do. You, honestly, you do. You really want to join this team. Just join this team. Come on, Heracross. Come on, Heracross. Yes! Okay. 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 We've got a damn Heracross. Yes! <coughs> wow! With its Herculean powers, it can easily throw around an object that is... 100 times its own weight. We've got ourselves a Heracross. Oh, okay. Huh, <sighs> alright. Do you know what? Since this is such a rare catch, I'm going to leave this nickname to the chat. Go ahead. Give me your names for a bloody Heracross. Typical, I spent half a stream headbutting trees and got bugger all in like areas with cities and everything. And then the first time I try it again, the first time I try it again on a new route, we get Heracross. I was after a Heracross with the headbutt trees. We did that, we're going for Hercules. Alright. We're not going to go with Hercules because 
Hercules was also the name of my Rapidash in um, Gen 4. But we're gonna go for the uh, the cool um, abbreviated name. You're gonna be Herc. Herc, the Beast of Bugmin. Jesus, all right. Heracross. Do we want to put Heracross into the team? If we do, who do we get rid of? Because honestly, at this point, it's between Marvina and Fodder. And I'd rather keep Marvina in the team, so I... Do you know what? Schnoggin, apologies, you didn't have the experience share long. We need to level up this beetle. We need to level up this beetle. So... Fodder! It's been brilliant, my friend. It's been great to have you back. But this game is a lot tougher than Gen 1, so we need very reliable members. But we may see you later if things go pear-shaped. Okay, Herc. Welcome. Welcome to the team, Herc. Whew, can't believe we actually got a Heracross. Lovely. Okay. That is beautiful to see. Since Heracross doesn't evolve either, that is going to make it even more interesting. Because Her Herc's stats going to be decent from the get-go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's not bad. For someone that's level 10... Yeah, I mean, for someone that's level 10, so think of it times three. It absolutely destroys... Nearly, it's nearly up to Beast's stats in attack. But it'll have more speed and more physical coverage. Herculina, male Heracross, or female Heracross. I was kind of thinking about that, um, but we've already done that thing with Marviner, because I always call my, um, my, my uh, Crobat Marvin. So we've, we've already done that, so I don't want to do it again. But yeah, Heracross, damn right, Heracross. <coughs> Can't wait to see you evolve in this team. And it would suck if you died at some point. Because I, I feel like you could be one of the big ones in the team. My lovely, lovely Heracross. Okay. Moving on. So we've just got over two hours. These streams usually last about two hours and a bit. Um, <coughs> so... I'm probably going to be going for another... Ooh, probably another... Mm, probably another half hour, I'd say. Fish until I can't fish anymore. Also, battle until I drop. That's my relationship with my Pokemon. Well, that's not brilliant, to be fair. It's not, not great, Mr. Fisherman. Yeah, we'll probably go for another half an hour. Um, see how uh, see how high a level we can get. Uh, we can get hurt. Ooh, Remoraid. Okay, that's not Sandy Man's um, groove. <clears throat> that's more Africa Doll's groove, I think. Mega Horn will be good. Uh. Well, if we can get Megahorn at a good rate, then that'll be brilliant, but why do I feel like that that's not the case? <laughs> that would suck, wouldn't it? <sighs> I swear if you have an Oko. If this Remoraid has an Oko. Good. Thank you! Do not want an Oko Remoraid killing me. Thank you very much, bastard. Right, experience for Africa Dial there. Experience for Herc. And another Remoraid. Okay, that's fine by me. Remoraid is faster because it was able to get a, a speed lower off. That's fine. All it seems to do is just try and lock on. That's literally all it's doing right now. Okay, half damage. I'm trying to think of other powerful moves Heracross has. I mean, yeah, so do I. I mean, Gen 3 Heracross is a lot better. I mean, it has like Brick Break and everything, which is brilliant. Um, <clears throat> there's, there's probably some decent moves, though, you could give Heracross. You know, so... 
I'm pretty good, I think. And Heracross's biggest weakness is flying types. And we've got an ice type on our team, so... I'd say we probably have good coverage to keep Heracross mostly safe as well, so... Plus also, it's more variety. So that's all good. Sybil! Got Sybil with a Butterfree. Uh, which... I don't think it really hurt Sandy Man, to be fair. So I'm just gonna keep Sandy Man in here, in here and slash away. Now you missed. Missed. Now you lose. Missed. Alright, Sandy Man nearly up to 29. Lovely. <coughs> ah, Blossom! Interesting. Interesting. Um, hmm. I was thinking about putting Schnoggin in there for a minute, but... If you've got something like Magical Leaf, that could do a pretty decent chunk of damage. More than likely you do have that, so... Wasn't really risking it. I would say things like Close Combat, Shadow Claw, etc, but Heracross can learn it later generations. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh hmm. Do I just kill the Blossom? Or do I be a prick, use Fly so it misses Solar Beam? Can Heracross learn Shadow Ball? Is interesting, because if so, that's a decent ghost type move. At least. Also, I chose being a prick, by the way, so there you go. Goodbye, Blossom. Actually, I'm gonna check this out. What is Heracross what is Heracross's moveset in Gen 2? Or what can it get? We'll look essentially Heracross is physical, so we're looking for physical attacks, obviously. For that. Right, what can Heracross learn? Okay. Mega Horn at 54. Nah. Strength. It's alright, I guess. Uh, curse. It's alright. Earthquake. You can learn Earthquake. Um, Fury Cutter wouldn't be bad, but Mega Horn's better. Strength Return, Earthquake. Yeah. I mean, and maybe something to sort of boost its power. So I'm thinking maybe... I'd probably curse, to be honest. It's probably the best we've got. But yeah, so Earthqu Earthquake is a must. Um, obviously, so Earthquake, Mega Horn, Strength. And then maybe, like, Curse or possibly Double Team. And again, Fighting. Having a Fighting type attack would be quite nice as well. But all it gets is... Which actually has a reliable attack. Reversal or Rock Smash. I mean, Rock Smash is alright, I guess. It's okay, but it's, it's not game-breaking. It's not world-ending at all. Oh, well. Right, moving onwards. Hello, buddy. I can tell you're a good trainer by looking at you. I'm good at Pokemon, and I can see that you are too. Sadly, the feeling is not mutual. <laughs> I'm just a prick when it comes to these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool trainer, Alan. Alan! Alan! Charmeleon! Charmeleon! Ow! Right, well, your Charmeleon is gonna have a, a, a bit of a bad day, to be honest. <sighs> okay, so... Would it be worth putting Fury Cutter on Heracross for the time being? I'm thinking about Will, maybe. Will. Hmm. And Karen, to be fair. Will and Karen, I'm thinking. Might be able to get a ball rolling on some big attacks, though. Maybe. That's, on that. <clears throat> That's kind of where my mind's going at the moment. But I'm not, honestly, not sure. Right. I'm actually gonna switch for Schnoggin here, because Schnoggin needs to get to 30, for God's sakes. Do we defeat Suicune, or are we leaving it until the better levels? Uh, yeah, we didn't... Uh, I nearly had a heart attack from Entei. 
when it turned up. Luckily, it legged it. But if not, it probably would have uh, destroyed my entire team. So that was, that was fortunate. Uh, but no, we have come across them, but we haven't killed any of them yet. <coughs> okay. Got to be wary of Goldeen. They have Flail. One attack, okay. Oh, shit. Rat bollocks. Rat bollocks. That is a lot of damage. Schnoggin's not ready either. Jeez. All right. Schnoggin is not ready. Schnoggin is not ready. Schnoggin, Schnoggin does not have defense. Schnoggin will get that defense when she evolves, but that's a long... That, that's still, what, a level and a half away. I may level up Schnoggin. Just to get Schnoggin up to 30. Just so at least we can have a Jinx. Because that, that, then that means at least we have a good member, another good member of the team. We need that. Because now we're leveling up Herc. Who's already got 40 attack at level 14, by the way. So, you know. Bit of a, bit of a beast herself, I think. Right, Seeking, the horrible sod. Yeah, no, you don't. Right, can you just crit it to get out of the way? That'd be lovely. Nope. <clears throat> okay. Well, as long as you don't miss this, Marvin, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy indeed. Bye. Seeking. Nice. Good job, Marvin. Nearly up to level 28. Hurts. Probably nearly up to the next level as well, to be fair. Just forget about it. I'm trying to. Go away. Sod. Right. Marvin needs to get to uh, to 28 as well. Beast, we're not going to be using too much. Because Beast is already at bloody level 30. Beast doesn't need any more levels. I think Schnoggin needs levels. We, we want to have a Jinx at this point. So, I am going to actually put Schnoggin back up front. And we're going to level Schnoggin up at the route next to the Lake of Rage. Because that has things like Noctowls in it. Which, to be fair, actually, they could do some decent damage. Ugh. Ugh. I wish you had Ice Punch or Ice Beam. Make things so much easier for me. <clears throat> but instead, you got the shitty Powder Snow. Oh well. Right, moving on. Route 43. Okay, what are we going up against first? We are going up against a... Noctowl. Well, there you go. Just forget about it. Forget about what? That battle that wasn't any challenge to me. I did already. Yeah. Who was that person again? What was their name? Oh, no. What occupation were they? What Pokemon did they have? I can't remember. Oh, balls. Schnoggin. We really don't need you asleep right now. Like, really don't. You're supposed to be, you know, leveling up and stuff. But no. You're falling asleep to this goober. It's a pissing Noctowl nearly, a, nearly half your level. Seriously. He's finally gone for an attack. He's done 11 damage. <clears throat> we need to get you at some levels quick, Schnoggin. We do. We really do. Right. We're dead. That's the right experience, I guess. I probably actually don't want to risk risk Schnoggin dying to any of this, so <clears throat> I want to get Schnoggin to Jinx as quick as possible. Sorry, Herc. Don't we will put the experience share back on you shortly. Failing that, I do have icy wind in my back pocket. And I also have a rare candy if I want to use it. So there's that. Because this bloody hypnosis bollocks is going to take too long. At least with powder snow, because powder snow is not brilliant. I think, I think icy wind is stronger, but I'm not too sure in Gen 2. Nope, you are not 
fighting Raticate. No. No, you are not fighting Raticate. You're not you're not good for that. You're not strong enough for that yet. <coughs> you do not have the bulk as of yet to deal with Eradicate. Marvina does. Marvina's fully evolved. You are not Schnoggin. Because of that. And because this one is dumb. But mostly because of that. Nice job, Marvina. Ever the reliable. Can't wait for Sludge Bomb. That's gonna make Marvina nuts. Once we get Sludge Bomb. We want Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb's gonna be so good. For Marvina. What is it? Oh, the Noctowl. Okay. I should do a series where I try and impersonate Pokemon Cries, really, shouldn't I? I should do. I'm not going to, though, because probably someone's already done it. Hence the whole Cricketune thing comes in. Ah, oh, nice. Nice crit. Good crit there for Schnoggin. Nearly up to 28. Nearly 29. Ah, oh, I'm so tempted to just use a rare candy on you. I really want to use just a rare candy on you after this battle with this knocked out. Just so you can get to level 30, evolve into Jinx, and then you're no longer weak. I mean, you're not weak, but jeez, your defense is paper thin. Really thin. Freeze as well. You love to see it. Now here's a confusion ha for you. You love to see it. You love to see it. 29 for Schnoggin. Young and user our candy. I just want to get sh to, to have Schnoggin turn into a Jinx, and then is no longer weak. Apologies. Ari one two one one two one. You spam on my chat. Then I hope you enjoy this. Thank you. Right, moving on. The mighty spam. Right, Schnoggin up to level thirty. Anyway, cheers, Vortex, for the battle now. I was just about to do it myself, but yeah, you got there before me. Uh, cheers for that. And now, Schnoggin is evolving into a final form. The full-on, full-fat, Schnoggin! Congratulations. We have a Jinx now. There you go. What happened? Uh, yeah, we had a spammer in the chat. Um... So, something to do with, if you want more follows, go to this website or whatever like that. To be fair, <coughs> I have actually wanted to use that source again. The, uh, the lovely spam. So, yeah. Vortex got to the spammer quite quickly, though, to be fair. So, cheers for that, Vortex. Right. That's better. There you go. That's better. I mean, still, crap defense. Crap attack, but that special attack's pretty decent. And uh, decent special defense, decent speed. That is much better. Right, Herc. Let's get you back your... Um, your experience share. Why not? Okay. Yeah, I don't get that when it comes to spammers. Like, I, I, I have three viewers right now. Three viewers. Like, do you really think you're gonna get anything <laughs> from three viewers who, well, uh, okay, and me as well, four, that would rather spams not happen in the chat. You know, it's like, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, pro it's probably just a bot, to be fair. But still, if it's an actual person, uh, it kind of, it kind of failed, really, didn't you? What oh, the battle, hello! Do you know about the legendary bird Pokemon? Poor marketing if they're going for a small channel with four viewers or less. I think they'd probably just try anyone, to be fair. Right, Vance, you are a bird trainer, which means I get to use Schnoggin's full tact ability. So you, though, your quick attacks. 
<clears throat> Snoggin is still not a brilliant defender. Well, that's good damage. That is much better. There you go. As a Smoochum, couldn't even be a Noctowl level 16. Now, can Powder Snow Pidgeotto to death. I'm not going to let you take another one of those, though, because... A crit would kill you. <coughs> so, Africa Doll it is. Go on, Africa Doll. Try your best. Try your best. Yeah, you know. Why don't they do that with those? I mean, to be fair, I think... I think a lot of the bigger um, Twitch streamers, I think they, I think some of them might have, if they get spams quite a lot, they might, I think they have like follower only on it. So then I guess you could, like, I've been hit with those as well, where they follow and then they unfollow, hoping that something turns up to show their name as like a little bit of advertisement, essentially. But every time they've done it, they've done it in the pre-stream countdown. Uh, which, which doesn't show that, and I'm there going, you giant prat! Right, let's try the ice cave, let's try the ice cave and see... Probably have to put Beast up front again for this, Jesus Christ. But we're going to try and see what we get in the ice bath. Wouldn't mind a swine up here! Bugger. Oh, I'll see that. Why'd you have to turn up now? Watch, next one's gonna be a swine up, right? Dupes Claws isn't on, by the way. So, uh, for, for new watchers. Oh, you bastard! I mean, to be fair, that's worse than Zubat. But still, I kind of would have wanted a Delibird. I would have never used it. Not in a million years. But it would have been nice to have. Also, they give quite good experience. Okay, never mind. Well, that's out of the way. Right. You might as well just check the... Uh, yeah, exactly. At least it's a new Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I don't even actually think I picked up the piss in radio, so... I don't know all the Team Rocket things! We're going for a radioless run right now! Radioless! No radios needed. No radios required. Um, okay. Well, Golnrod's next up, right? Because it's the Team Rocket hideout that we need to, uh... In, in Golden Rod, that we need to kick the ever loving arse of next. And hopefully, get Herc at some decent levels. Also, well, imagine some uh, have bots auto mod for spam. True. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not. Uh, I'm, not a, I'm not as big of a Twitch streamer yet. Give it time. Nuzlocke more like radio le radioless lock. Oh, yeah, we just don't listen to anything. The worst game to do that in is probably any of the Grand Theft Auto ones. I say that, and to be fair, I only own the fifth one. Yeah, you're already it. Uh, we're not offering any tours today. Okay, cool. I might as well kick your ass. Why not? Finally taking over the radio tower! Now everyone will get to experience the true terror of Team Rocket! We'll show you how scary we are. We're gonna have the archers on 24-7. No, you monster! Monster rocket grunt. Absolute fiend. All right, well, beast. Sick him. With giant piles of dirt. Imagine beast just like, like going into the ground and just eating. Just chomping down on whatever's there, and then just pick it up and just, like, spitting it at the opponent. Radio is necessary for Snorlax encounter. I'm not sure, um, everywhere is accessible. That's true. Well, I'll probably get that afterwards then. Plus also, we would want a Snorlax. Because they're just bulky sods. Imagine my Snorlax versus Red Snorlax. 
Imagine that. That'd be brilliant. Ah uh, yes, we got the uh, the, the, the Nightbot uh, stuff as well. There's there's a bunch of them. You could, you could put um, exclamation mark FOD squad, all one word, and you get a very hilarious one. Oh, uh, one that if it wasn't for the chats, Pokemon Blue's Nuzlocke probably would never have been as good. Anyway, you have been defeated. Move on. Everyone's going nuts. I shall fight you! Why not? How boring. It was far too easy to take over this place. Come on, keep me amused. Ah, there it is, yep. The roll call! Fodder. Fodder times two. Fodder the third. The little baby Fodder Jr. And the forgotten fifth V Fodder. And they are the Fault Squad. Yeah, that was the Pokemon Blue Nuzlocke. Where I got five Pidgeys. In my Nuzlocke run. Five Pidgeys. And... <coughs> A lot of people will just go, well, for the next one, just have dupes claws on. But I feel like that kind of ruins it. Plus also, you wouldn't get such amazing things as Fod Squad. You know. Alright, the Rocket Grunt has been defeated. Who are you? I am the leader of the Fod Squad. The trainer of the Fod Squad. I only train the greatest of Pidgeys. One of them eventually became a champion. Oh, you've got five Pokemon. Fair enough for you. Okay, beast. Bring it on, you bastard. Smack. With giant piece of... <coughs> giant piece of that. But trainer master wants about... No! Fold Squad champion. Fod Squad Champion, Fod Squad Leader, something like that. Yeah, I just noticed it's just turned up on my phone, uh, Music Lover 5... Bleh, 9562. Yeah, cheers for that. Cheers for the, uh, for the, uh, for... Essentially join the Discord. Cheers for that. But yeah, because I've got my phone right here, just, like, sort of... Essentially checking out Twitch as well as, like, a secondary chat. Plus, also, if I need to, um, Google anything, like, about Pokemon stats or moveset or whatever, then I can just do it quickly here. Um, so yeah, yeah, it just turned up as a, um, as a notification on my phone. Right. Beast, you really don't need any more experience, to be fair. Not against this Goober. Yeah, go on, Africa doll. To be fair, you need to evolve as well, because you are starting to lag behind. You are starting to lag behind, Africa doll, and it's not good. Not good at all. Here's Blue Line of Death. The Blue Line of Doom has consumed you. Okay. Perk with some experience as well. Lovely. And Ratata. Again. Why do you wave your backside, Ratata? I, I, I don't. I don't understand. Can you stop? That'd be nice. Because you're making it rain here. When I mean rain, I mean terrifying water. All to be combined with the blue line of doom. And you are screwed. Okay, one more, sir. Right, I think we're about to hit the two and a half hour mark. So... This battle has just about ended, so I think we are going to end this stream here. Yes, twerking Rattata, indeed. Indeed. Uh, it's just simply I'm still recovering from the super cold at the moment, if you can probably tell from my voice. Uh, it's already starting to go. Uh, it probably did after hour one. Um, so, we are going to be leaving the stream here. Um, hopefully. God, my phone's going to bleed nuts right now. Now oh, someone's just... Sent me a couple of files for a video we're doing for next month. Fair enough. <coughs> and... Okay, that's a bit better. Lovely. So, yes. Um, hopefully I will be able to do some 
longer streams at some point. Luckily, internet's now been sorted. Um, the voice is still kind of crap, but it has been for about a month and a half now. Um, but it's slowly getting better now, which is which is brilliant. Um, this super cold really knocks it out of your voice, which is really annoying for someone whose hobby for the last 14 years has essentially been talking, which is really, really frustrating. But it is slowly getting better. Thank you very much to the chat for uh, for all the get well soon um, messages. I certainly will do. Um, it certainly feel a, better, a lot better than I did at the start of the super cold. I felt like rubbish then, but... Now, it's a lot better now, and um, hopefully I'll be streaming. It won't take three months or three weeks to do my next stream, and I can actually do a consecutive stream. Maybe this weekend, or start next week. Who knows? But anyway, thank you very much to everybody um, who has been watching this. Uh, I just thought there's no link to the Ordinary Master Up channel, just the gaming one. Yeah, because I usually like to... Um, essentially sort of differentiate the two because one's got its own thing on it like MRW and Global Trophy and obviously this one has essentially pure gaming content um purest the purest of gaming content so I sort of like to try and keep the two sort of a bit separate really um because obviously these streams are obviously for people who like the video games and stuff like that but um I might add one to be fair. I might actually add one of those um, just to just to check on that. But yes, in the chat there are all the um, all of the lovely links to everything, including my Discord, uh, my Twitch for people watching the VOD at least, um, and then there's the VODs. Since I am only available, or at least the VODs are only available for two weeks, for non-affiliates. Hopefully at some point we will get to being a YouTube affiliate, fingers crossed. Um, then that will be less of an issue, but until then, previous Twitch streams are also available. It's all located also, um, if you can't see the chats when you're watching this, if you're watching essentially on Twitch later, it's all below on buttons, which I've lovingly put in, so don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, essentially there's everything like from Discord, uh, to my Patreon, to, if you fancy donating a bit of dosh, uh, plus the YouTube channel, where I'm currently uploading my 270th Let's Play, uh, which is Neon Abyss from a year ago. <clears throat> I thought for a minute, I thought I'd actually put, for the first time in a while, a disclaimer in the entire Let's Play for every description. Um, essentially just saying, this was recorded last year. Because I know probably someone's gonna say, Well, this is all too old! Because they did for like, Slay the Spire and everything, so I just thought I'd get in first when it comes to that. But yes! Over 3,600 videos. Over 11 years of doing this. And, um... And yeah, uploading my 270th Let's Play right now. So yeah, I actually also finally, after holding off for so long, uh, did my Christmas special this year. Um, so that'll be coming out on Christmas Eve, so in a month's time. Global Trophy is ace. Cheers, Matthias. Cheers for that. Um, oh, well, it might um, it, it might be of, um, uh, of news to you then that uh, when I said my phone was going nuts, that was um, Sam Malik 64 sending me a couple of Google Drives. Uh, of his commentary, so yeah, we are certainly on that at the moment as well. Um, so we're trying to get uh, we're trying to get global trophy done. Uh, that will start coming out <coughs> first week of January, not first week of January, first week of December. That will be coming out. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Save my voice. I try to, but unfortunately, the job me, the job is my voice. The hobby is my voice. So, you can't really save it too much, which is, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, so, there is that. So, yeah, Global Trophy is well in hand. Me and Sam are working on it at the moment um, to uh, to get that sorted out. Okay, okay, I will. Don't worry, I'm, I'm going to be going in a minute. Um, we're going to be finishing off this lovely recorder league, and I'm just going to be just saving it for the rest of it. Uh, but yes, thank you very much to everyone who has been watching. Chats told me to bugger off so I could save my voice, to be fair, they're right. 
So I'm going to end the stream here, but thank you very much to everyone for watching. Remember, check out YouTube and Discord, especially Discord, to um, essentially all follow here, at least. Follow on Twitch to um, get notified when I'll be stream when I'll be streaming next. More of this, more Pokemon Crystal, the Nuzlocke. And now, I shall leave you to it. I'll see you then.